So let me tell you a tale about tails. There are some cases of humans being born with a tail. There are about 25 confirmed cases known to scientists. Those born with tails, though, won't have any real benefit other than what the tailbone does for balance anyway. The tails have no function other than physically being there, as they have no bones. The tails only consist of nerves, vessels, and muscles. Now, do you find that you're a picky eater? Do you think that coriander tastes like soap? Or you can't stand pineapple on pizza? Really? Well, this may be due to what kind of taster you are. Up to 30% of people are considered super tasters and will experience different levels of enjoyment or disappointment from their foods. Food that is bitter to the super taster will likely be sweet to average tasters who make up 40% of people. There are also 30% of people who are non-tasters and won't find anything too exciting. I guess you just have to develop a taste for that. The vast majority of people have brown eyes. About 79% of the world population share this eye color. Once, all humans only had the brown pigmentation. Until around 6 to 10,000 years ago, and I wasn't around then, when humans migrated to Northern Europe. A mutation occurred, helping the eyes to adapt to the change of light. Blue eyes became the most common of the mutated coloration, and all of them today can be traced back to one ancestor from Europe. His name was Chadwick Abernathy. His friends called him Chad, and he was a boulder mover at Stonehenge. Well, not real. Today, blue eyes make up around 10% of the human population. Amber and hazel eyes each take up 5% respectively. Gray eyes are up to 3%. And the rarest of eye colors are green ones, consisting of only 2%. Rarer still is heterochromia iridum, where both eyes are of different colors. It's inherited and also affected by other genetic factors. Only 1% of the human population have this incredibly rare attribute. Do you have a small hole in the front of your ear above the ear canal? This is a preauricular pit. During the first six weeks of a child's development, long before being born, the auricle, which is the external part of your ear, will develop. The preauricle pit forms when the auricle doesn't fully fuse. This occurs in less than 1% of humans. Although there's speculation that having this little hole is the remnant of gills that we once had from our seafaring ancestors, there is nothing solid to confirm this theory. If you can lick your elbow easily or touch your thumb to your forearm, congratulations, you're among the minority of people. But some people bring flexibility to the next level. This condition is called hypermobility. It allows rare individuals to twist their bodies into weird positions, just like a snake, putting their head between their feet, doing a back bridge, and all sorts of splits. But in some cases, hypermobility can increase sensitivity because such people have a larger medulla. This brain area is responsible for processing emotions. 90% of people are right-handed and only 10% are left-handed. Yes, that adds up. But there's also a very small percentage of those who can use both hands equally well, including writing, drawing, and doing any tasks. Naturally, ambidextrous people account for only 1% of the entire population, which is about 70 million people. If you want to check whether you're one of them, try to write the same phrase with both hands, or draw a circle first with your right and then with your left hand. If there's no difference, congrats! By the way, these exercises are very good for balancing the hemispheres of the brain, regardless of which hand is your dominant one. And if you have three hands, well, that's a different video. Your fingernails grow faster on your dominant hand. In other words, if you write with your right hand, it's all right. <laughs> and you'll have to trim those nails more often. Your fingernails also grow faster in the summer and during the day. Your skeleton will renew itself completely within 10 years. And yes, without surgery. An adult uses around 200 muscles just to make one step. So don't tell me I don't work out enough. Every minute, your body sheds more than 3,000 skin cells. It's almost 200,000 skin cells per hour and more than 9 pounds per year. Hey, it's the Shedding Skin Cells Weight Loss Plan. Ooh, sign up. But hey, don't worry, you still have about 300 million skin cells at any given moment. Plus, your skin completely renews itself every 28 to 30 days. The liver is the only human organ that can regenerate completely. 
as little as 25% of the original liver weight can get back to its full size. Some people can hear their eyeballs moving inside the eye sockets. Well, that must be no fun. Unlike other parts of your body, your ears and nose never stop growing. Wow, that must be no fun. Your skin wrinkles if you stay in the water for too long. But not because it absorbs water. When your body's wet, wrinkled fingers and toes provide you with a better grip. You know, like when the treads on your car tires grip the road better when they're new. Your eyes are an amazing instrument. They can distinguish between 10 million different colors. Your brain uses more than 20% of your body's energy even when you're resting. When you're asleep, it still consumes almost as much power as when you're awake. It also burns around 330 calories per day at that. An adult person has about 25% of all their bones in the feet. Most of them are tiny but crucial. If these bones are out of alignment, so is the rest of the body. You breathe around 20,000 times a day, I've counted. Try not to stop. I actually set a personal best record today for consecutive days breathing, and I plan to top that tomorrow. Human bones are a real paradox. They're almost five times stronger than a steel bar with the same width, but can fracture on impact and are rather brittle. If a person has asnosmia, also called smell blindness, they can't distinguish and detect smells. But they can still be smelly. <laughs> Sorry. You start feeling thirsty when water loss is 1% of your body weight. More than 5% and you may faint. Water loss that's bigger than 10% of the body weight and dehydration can end a person, if you know what I mean. The strongest muscle in your body, based on its weight, is your jaw muscle. Yes, mine is way overdeveloped. At any moment, 50,000 cells in your body are getting replaced by new ones. Boy, that sounds like a company I used to work for. By the end of their life, the average person can recall up to 150 trillion pieces of information. Except for where they left their car keys. Even if fingerprints are badly damaged, they still go back with their original pattern. Don't believe me? Hey, give it a whirl! Your brain's memory capacity is equivalent to about 4 terabytes on a hard drive, which is more than 8 million photos. People are the only living creatures that can naturally sleep on their backs. Even apes usually sleep in a sitting position, leaning on something. Don't wake them up! Your longest bone is your thigh bone, not your funny bone. And the tiniest one is in the ear. It's shorter than a grain of rice. Do you feel ticklish when you tickle yourself? Normally you wouldn't, unless someone else tickles you. It happens because the cerebellum area of the brain, which monitors movements, predicts the sensations caused by your own movements. Then it sends a signal to other parts of the nervous system to cancel these sensations. But some rare individuals can actually feel ticklish on their own. If you're not among them, touching a new texture that the brain doesn't yet recognize or using a scalp massager can help to excite your nerves and bring relaxation. Hey, you can give it a tickle test! If you want to check out the work of your vestibular system, try this simple trick. Stand on one foot and close your eyes. Most people lose balance at least during the first attempt. Your vestibular system includes many organs and systems throughout the body. Together, they allow your body to stay in balance in different positions. This system includes the inner ear and vision, which is why keeping balance is much easier in silence while your eyes are open. Can you wiggle your ears intentionally? Are you popular at parties for doing that? Congratulations! Around 22% of people on the Earth are capable of wiggling one ear. As for moving both ears at once, only 18% can do that. Air wiggling used to be a common thing for our distant ancestors. Scientists believe they could perform a variety of movements with their ears. The group of muscles responsible for wiggling are called the auriculars. Mostly don't need it today. But some people claim that everyone can learn to move their ears. It only takes time and practice. Unfortunately, we still cannot acquire this classy habit of twitching an ear toward a sound source, as dogs and cats do. Nor can we actually lend an ear to someone. They're challenging to remove and reattach.
Most people are sure that humans only have five senses, but that's not entirely true. Taste, touch, smell, sight, and hearing aren't the only ones we have. Scientists claim that people have between 9 and 20 senses in total. These include thermoception, the sense of warmth, equilibrioception, the sense of balance. There's also the sense of time, although not everyone seems to have that last one. We used to think that there were just eight different blood types, but in reality, there are over 30 known blood group systems. Here on the bright side, our favorite blood group is B positive. Get it? For every pound of fat you gain, you generate one mile of new blood vessels to supply oxygen and nutrients to your body. Your stomach produces a new lining every six days to avoid digesting itself. Nerve cells transmit 1,000 nerve impulses a second. They travel between 1 and 268 miles per hour. Our DNA contains 100,000 viruses. Scientists have discovered one that goes back 100 million years. Your body emits visible light. You're the brightest at 4 p.m., and your glow is the least visible at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, this glowing is 1,000 times less intense than what your eyes can see. Sweat is mostly water mixed with proteins, sugars, ammonia, and a lot of other stuff. It even contains tiny amounts of trace metals like copper, zinc, nickel, iron, and so on. What makes sweat taste salty is the sodium it contains. Plus, the more salt you eat, the saltier your sweat is. Your body's trying to get rid of the excess, and the fastest way is to sweat it out. If you walked 2 miles per hour, you'd have to walk for 20 hours straight to lose 1 pound. And it would take you 518 days and 8 hours to circle the equator. Earwax isn't actually wax. It contains fat, skin cells, sweat, and dirt. Your brain gets three times bigger over the first year of life and reaches its full maturity when you're 25. 60% of it is fat. Your brain generates around 23 watts of electrical power, which is enough to run a small light bulb. Humans can't really multitask. Your brain can't perform more than one action at the same time. It switches between them, which doesn't save time as you might think, but increases the possibility you'll do something wrong and makes the process longer. When you have an exam to take, or you're at work trying to focus on an important task, try chewing gum. Research showed it can help you stay concentrated for longer on tasks that require your full attention. Studies even say that it's a better test aid than caffeine. There's nothing special in the gum, but the act of chewing wakes your brain up. The effect doesn't last long though, just for 20 minutes. Embryos develop fingerprints at three months. Your bones are four times harder than concrete. The strongest bone in your body is the femur. It can support up to 30 times the weight of a grown-up person. Even crazier is that our bones are made up of composite material, meaning they're both hard and elastic at the same time. Sunburn is the result of radiation exposure. When your body's natural defense mechanism gets overwhelmed trying to fight UV rays, a toxic reaction occurs that results in sunburn. Goosebumps are an evolutionary reflex left over from our ancestors. The release of adrenaline made their hair stand up, and they look scarier to approaching predators. Your body produces one to three pints of saliva every day. It helps you digest food and fights off infections. You also have a lot of bacteria in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. The average amount of bacteria in a person's mouth is almost the same as the number of people living on Earth. That's hard to digest. Each human has roughly 150,000 hairs on their head. Every strand grows around one half an inch per month. If we added the growth from each hair, it would measure the distance of 10 miles in just one year. Your hair is also a lot stronger than you think. A single strand can hold three ounces, which is the weight of an apple. If we combine the strength of all the hair on your head, it could support the weight of two elephants. Hey, let's try it. The beating sound your heart makes is the clap of valve leaflets opening and closing. Your heart doesn't replicate its cells unless you have an injury. Your corneas are the only part of your body that don't get blood. They get oxygen directly through the air. When you're sitting or standing upright, it's easier for you to recall some positive memories that make you feel good. Some believe it's because sitting up with your back flat boosts blood flow and your brain gets more oxygen, which helps it function better. 
the man who has the deepest voice in the world, and that's definitely not me, can produce sounds that humans, including him, can't hear at all. But elephants can hear those sounds. Veins look blue because light has to go through layers of skin and fat to reach them. Your skin scatters a lot of the red portion of white light before it reflects the blood. This leaves only the blue light to bounce back to your eyes. A person who has anosmia is unable to detect smells. Phantosmia is the opposite condition, when someone smells an odor that isn't actually there. The human brain has 100 billion neurons. It's 73% water, and the same is true about the heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of its liquid, you start to feel tired. It also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. The earliest known person to have had blue eyes lived in the Stone Age, 7,000 years ago. Your right kidney is probably smaller and sits lower down than your left kidney to make room for your liver. By the way, your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. After you swallow some liquid, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, you'd keep gulping down water for the entire 10 to 60 minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. Your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and your brain will already process this image. The average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Even though the tongue isn't the strongest muscle in your body, it never gets tired. That's because of the way it's built. It's made up of eight interwoven muscles. The tongue is the only muscle with ends not connected to bone. Other muscles join two bones at both ends because that's how we pull and make a motion. There are around 700 different species of bacteria in your mouth. Over 6 billion of them live there. Your skin is your largest organ. It can cover the surface area of two bath towels. It accounts for around 16% of body weight and is around 22 square feet. If you typed 60 words per minute for 8 hours a day, it would take you 50 years to type the human genome. You get tired pretty quickly when you're out in the heat. This happens because your body is trying really hard to keep itself cool, which puts a lot of extra work on it. So you get exhausted and tired, even if you don't do anything physically demanding. Your body has 78 organs, but only 5 of them are essential for survival. The brain, liver, kidney, lungs, and heart. Oh, the phone's ringing. It must be something urgent. At 11 p.m. Only, all the gadgets in the house are silent. It's your ears that are ringing. You can also hear some hissing, whistling, buzzing, and even roaring. But all this noise doesn't have an external source. That's why it's known as phantom sounds. They can occur in one or both ears, constantly or from time to time. They're usually most noticeable at night, when nothing distracts you. Women have more taste buds on the surface of their tongues than men do. That's one of the reasons why 35% of ladies and only 15% of guys are super tasters. Those are people who feel flavors more strongly than others. Left-handed people usually prefer to chew on the left side. And right-handed people, well, you guessed it, chew on the right. Even if your fingerprints are damaged, they'll grow back in the same unique pattern. When breathing, a single lung only uses 5% of the oxygen you've inhaled. Almost all of our body is covered with hairs, even if we don't notice them. They grow even in the belly button. Their purpose is to catch lint. Check it out, see? A single human hair can support 3.5 ounces of weight. That's how much two candy bars weigh. Our hair color is easily explained by genes. There's not more than 2% of people with natural red hair. They're followed by blondes and by all the varieties of brown shades. The vast majority goes to black hair, including very dark brown. Yeah, your hair can stop growing at a certain length. A hair usually grows from 2 to 7, so usually it doesn't exceed 42 inches. Well, tell that to this gal from China, who broke all the hair records with the longest hair ever. In 2004, her hair was 18 feet, 5 and a half inches long. With age, your hair loses its natural color. It happens because keratin receives less pigment. As people grow older, the pigment cells in their hair follicles gradually vanish. 
and hair becomes gray. Some time passes and no pigment is produced at all. That's when hair turns white. The only part of the human body that doesn't get any nutrients from blood is the cornea of the eye. Instead, it's fed by tears and fluid in front of your eyes. A human eye has some resemblances to a car engine. They both need various liquids to perform properly. An engine needs gasoline and an eye needs tears. In order to work well, the tears should be thoroughly distributed all over the eye. That's why we blink up to 20,000 times a day. So, a lid is a bit of a windshield washer. We've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelid closing. They're the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection. That's why when the reflex is triggered, these muscles shut the eyes within about 100 milliseconds. No more than 0.1 seconds. We recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. It's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees because every single person has slight vision differences. But it's about one millionth combinations on average, you see? The inability to distinguish colors, also known as color blindness, affects around 8% of males and 0.5% of females. But colors themselves aren't as stable and objective as they might seem. Multiple tests have shown that people experience colors differently, depending on many factors such as geographical location, language, and gender, to name a few. It means that you can enjoy the same sunset with your friend and see completely different colors without even knowing it. Just like fingerprints, your eye color is unique. It can even affect the way you perceive light and make your vision one of a kind. To understand how this is possible, you gotta figure out how the eye color is formed. This is the iris, the colored part of the eyeball. The iris contains pigmentation, and its content determines what eye color you have. Every human has a slightly different amount of pigmentation. That's why you won't find two people with identical eye colors. Three specific genes in your body are responsible for melanin levels and determine pigmentation. Blue and green-eyed people have less melanin in their iris, and those who have more melanin have darker eye colors, like brown and hazel. Some rare people have beautiful deep black eyes, but this is only an optical illusion caused by the abundance of melanin. Pure black iris doesn't exist in nature, Although these eyes look very dark, they're actually dark brown. Studies have proved that eye pigmentation impacts your vision. No matter how dark or light your eye color is, people with lighter eye colors are more sensitive to light, which may cause them to feel uncomfortable on sunny days. If you have a light eye color and have to squint when you go outside, don't forget to put on sunglasses. Your irises contain less pigment that serves as protection from the sun's rays. But since melanin acts like natural sunglasses, you have better night vision compared to dark-eyed people. On the contrary, if you have a darker eye color, your eyes can cope with bright light better during the daytime. Dark-eyed people should feel more confident while driving at night because they don't get blinded by car headlights that much. Your peripheral vision is almost completely black and white. It's because you have more color-detecting cones in the center of your retina than at the sides. Women can distinguish more colors than men because they have two X chromosomes. And men only have one. Even if something is wrong with one of the chromosomes, a woman can still see colors correctly. That's why women are rarely colorblind. There must be at least some photos where you have red eyes. When the camera flash goes off, your eyes aren't prepared for such an influx of light. Your pupils remain dilated, which is why the light gets reflected off the red blood cells of the choroid. This is a layer of tissue at the back of your eye that nourishes your retina. The weird-looking flies you see right in front of your eyes every now and then are eye floaters. You see them because of tiny structural imperfections in one particular part of the eye that gets in the way of light. They get worse with age. You spend 10% of the time when you're awake with your eyes closed. It's all those times you're blinking. 
humans are capable of using echolocation like bats and dolphins. With some training, you can find your way in complete darkness analyzing the surroundings by sounds bouncing off objects. Don't need to practice that. About 6% of people can vibrate and rapidly shake their eyeballs back and forth. It doesn't mean something's not right with their eyes, it's just a unique trick they can perform. The main purpose of eyelashes is to shield your eyes and protect them from sand, moisture, dust, and debris in the air. Your eyelashes sense when something comes up too close to your eyes, like an insect flying towards you, and trigger your blink reflex. Blinking also helps when you need to flush out some tiny particles or debris stuck in your puncta. Those are small openings you have in your eyelids. That's where the tears get pumped out. Your eyebrows stop sweat from running directly into your eyes. Your skin there and the shape of your bones also work together to direct the sweat towards the sides of your face. Onions produce a special chemical irritant. It stimulates special glands in your eyes, causing them to release tears. The nose is probably one of the most underappreciated parts of the body. We wouldn't even be able to enjoy eating without it. About 80% of the taste of any food is thanks to the nose and its ability to recognize odors. If you hold your nose while eating, you will taste almost nothing. With no sense of smell, you're likely to recognize food mostly by texture, so an onion might seem no different than a big, refreshing apple. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish about 10,000 smells, but they were wrong. Recent research showed that people are actually able to distinguish between more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. Your nose doesn't just help you breathe and catch odors, it filters the air for sensitive throats and lungs. If we inhale dry air, the nose moistens it, cools it, and heats it if necessary. Also, the nose cleans the air of dirt. Your nostrils don't work with the same efficiency all the time. When you breathe, one nostril does most of the work, and they switch every couple of hours. 18% of people can move both ears at the same time, while 22% can move one ear at a time. People who can do it use weak vestigial muscles we got from our ancestor humans, who had this trait in common with cats. Some people can produce a roaring noise in their heads. All they have to do is tense their ears or jaws. There's a small muscle in the ear. It dampens loud sounds, like when you're chewing. But some people can flex that muscle and that creates an audible rumble. Your teeth are the only part of your body that cannot heal itself. 